Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a video on this makeup look. It's a blue wing with a bit of a holographic... No, I can't say that, I get in trouble. Duochrome on the eyelid and a really pretty pale lip. Today's video is a sponsored video with Sigma for the Wildflower Collection. So I'm doing a look with this new palette. It's really pretty. It's a very pretty collection of colors. You got four eyeshadow shades and a blush and a highlighter. I use this on the eye as well, so they're multi-purpose. And I came up with this look. And I think it came out really nice. Haven't done a wing in Yonks. Well, it feels like Yonks. Um, so I wanted to do one and hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very pumped to be working with Sigma on this video because as you guys know, I've been using their brushes since the dawn of YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let me know what you think. For primer, I'm gonna use the Jouer stick in Rococo. It's very shimmery. And I'm gonna soften that out with my finger just to save time. The first color I'm gonna take is Austere, the highlight shade. I'm just gonna pat that over my brow bone and bring it down to the socket because I'm gonna blend a socket color next. And having a bit of powder over the top means that the next powder, which is a bit of a deeper shade, will blend really nice and creamy. You can use absolutely any brush for this. And this one is the medium angle shading brush. It's silver because it's part of the titanium collection. The titanium collection is a special collection of, collection, special collection of brushes. They don't actually have a furrel, furrel with glue in it. So they last a lot longer because they can be, they're like waterproof and everything. Then I'm going to take apricot flower. I love apricots for in the socket. Just going to take that over. And this one's the Tapered Blending E35. Now I'm gonna smush something into my outer corner here and the inner corner and I'm gonna take 10, which is this really nice taupe. God, I love taupes. Top, taupe, top, taupe. Do you say top, top or taupe? And this is the Camilla Co Coelho <laughs> Blending Brush E25. I love makeup by Camilla, I love her. This is number 10. Just gonna pack that all over the eye. That sparkly base underneath makes it look extra sparkly. Now I have the prettiest loose shimmer in my collection. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of like a multifaceted pearl. It's like a nude color, but then it reflects blue. And I wanna do a blue eyeliner with this, so I thought this would be nice to like pat over the top. Just gonna stick that here on the center, whoa and blend it in. Wow. Is that capturing? I'm going to use Waveline Eyeliner from MAC. Small Eyeliner E10 brush. Oh my God, I have not done gel eyeliner in yonks, you guys. I don't know if I can still do it. Wow, when was the last time I used gel eyeliner? I mean, I must have used it in a video recently. Surely, I think I normally use eyeliner pens these days. My eyes are getting more wrinkly as I get older. It's not as easy. I've still got it. <laughs> Just. <laughs> okay. Proud. <laughs> Proud mum. I used to do winged eyeliner all the time and then I kind of <clears throat> got over it. And I like to do, you know, just like classic eyeshadow looks. But now I think I'm starting to feel it again. I just love the way it makes your eye a different shape. Like it can angle your eye, make you look a little bit, I don't know, more awake. And I don't know, I feel like it makes my eyes less round. You've got to make sure the wings are the same angle, which is really hard because I actually think my eyes are not even, like even. One's higher than the other. My mom has it too. And my ears, one of my ears is way higher than the other and my glasses always look like they're like falling off on an angle. When you're applying the gel to the brush, it helps if when you're doing the edges you keep it flat and that way you've got some sharper edges to draw on your eye like this. Also means the brush is covering more of a surface area. So you can draw on like a more intense color in one go. When I want to do the wing, I then manipulate the brush by twisting it to be more into a point. 
Guys, this has literally taken me a million years. I just wanted to make this side a bit higher, so I'm gonna take the flat liner E15 with a bit of concealer on it. And you just go right up underneath it and slice it off. Oh, I think I just touched my eyeball. Calm down. Sometimes my eyes are so sensitive and sometimes I feel like I could stab them with a fork and they wouldn't care. Now, it's funny that I put so much effort into that when I'm actually just gonna go over it with blue. Okay, now I'm gonna take elderberry. This is a handy brush to have. It's called the inner corner brush. As you can see, it's super small, so it's good for intricate areas. Let it smudge over the edge a little bit. That's gonna make it nice and hazy. Gonna take that same blue shade on the FX5 brush and just soften out a little bit into that outer corner there. Back onto the face, I'm gonna use some primer. Gonna use my EX1 foundation. Okay, on my eyebrows, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Brow Pomade. I really feel naked without them on. If I have foundation on, it covers up the tattoo, so, um, yeah, you still got to put it on. And I'm using the small angle brush for that. Now I'm gonna take some concealer up under my eye. Blend it in. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes, which is like my favorite thing to do these days that I never used to do. I think ever since I had lash extensions, I've like um, become obsessed with having perfect lashes. And I don't have extensions in anymore just because I was traveling and then I got back, I haven't had time to go. And I'm just trying to give my eyes a break. I had them for like five or six months nonstop. They look nice and even. Squeeze. Oops, too close. Oh, too close. <laughs> Squeeze. Hold, 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 hold. Come on. Just gonna add a bit of concealer to my boo boos over here. This is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I used the color Ginger. I love it. Now I'm gonna take the shade Peaceful and put it in the inner corner of the eye and up under my brow. For contour, I'm gonna take this Burberry stick. Well, just a little bit. 50 cent style. Wait, let me do a bit here. So nice and natural and if you use a brush that had your foundation or concealer on it it will really help tone it down so that you don't accidentally have too much on there if you see I did my nose with the same brush that I did my concealer with earlier and it just helps to make sure that the contour is going to blend in with the rest of your skin tone it's a really nice little tip and also you know it means less brushes to wash all right I'm gonna take peony blush well, that's a nice kind of, I would call it like everyday blush. Universally flattering color. For the highlighter, the peaceful color, which I used on my eyes, I'm gonna take the Powder Sweep FO6. It's really pretty glassy color. That is so pretty. <gasps> wow, I'm looking very glowy now. I was like, I'm wearing blue eyeshadow, so I don't want it to be too intense, but here I am. Here we are so far. So the last thing I want to do is put some lipstick on, and then I'm going to decide if I want falsies, which right now I think that it looks fine without it, but we'll see. What did I do with the lipsticks? Now with the lipsticks, I've got two choices. I have Dahlia lipstick or Barely Blooming. I'm going to go for the peachy nude one. Look how perfect this is. I don't want to ruin it. 
all that colour. Reminds me of Shanexo, she always likes these pretty pale shades. Just pat it over. Got bitten by a mozzie on my neck, like right on top of where I had a pimple. It's so itchy, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna quickly put some fluffy lashes on. I wish I could tell you what brand these were, but I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna put them on really quick. Here we are at the end of my video, finished look. Alright guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the look. I really like it. It's got like a doe-eyed effect. I miss doing winged eyeliner. I'm totally going to bring it back. Normally I do like halo eyes now or classic eyes or smoky eyes and I feel like it's about time that I brought it back. So I wanted to play up the blue in the Wildflower palette and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial with the Wildflower collection from Sigma. If you want to buy anything from Sigma, I've got the code CHLOE available to you guys and you can get a discount on your order. So I'll put all the links below to the products and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, I appreciate the support. Love you guys so much. Catch you soon. Mwah.